Holy fuck! Good morning, evening, dear nights, kind nights, and kind ladies and gentlemen who quest or troll the wonderful land of YouTube. My name is Cholombo. And my name is Metal of Age. And welcome to our third, is it the third one? No, it's the fourth one. The fourth freaking Q&A! <gasps> yes! Well, what do we have? We have questions right here. What do we have to give you? Our freaking answers. <gasps> Let's get on with it. King D353 asked us, What brought about the name Lolzosaurus? Well, our name isn't Lolzosaurus, it's Lolzosaurus. Yeah, so the thing that brought about the name Lolzosaurus is, well, you. your comments. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> and I think we already talked about how we got the name Lolzosaurus, so check out our first ever Q&A, because I think everyone asks that. Yeah, first or second, I guess. I think we've done the question twice, so we're not gonna repeat it. Anymore, but we just included it because of the error, and it was funny. Mystery Grill asked, she wants to know what we would do if there was no YouTube. If there was no YouTube, then there would be an empty space in need of a whatever would be YouTube, and then we would make that website with someone. <laughs> Obviously, duh, and make a lot of lots of fucking money. Yes, then we'd have like YouTube or something. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. We would have made something. Sarais asked a few questions. Hmm. He asked, out of, the f out of the two of you guys, which one is the most outgoing? Well, well <laughs> I go out most of the time. <laughs> that would have to be metal. <laughs> no, it's me. It's him. Yeah, obviously. Metal is really reclusive. And like, since we had this computer in the dark, and then when you enter the room, and you put on the lights, he goes like <sighs> <laughs> He's afraid of the lights, I don't know why, maybe he's a vampire. He also asked, who would win in a fight? Uh... <laughs> I don't know, I think I would be the strongest, even though you're the longest. Oh! Uh. <laughs> Just the rhyme. And I answer this next question. Who is the tallest? Yeah. Me. Yeah. The tallest, but not the strongest. Bitch. <laughs> well, the thing is, for some reason, metal... I, well, I kicked his ass a lot, and you know what they say? If you kick somebody's rear end a lot, they grow a lot faster, a lot taller. They say that... Uh, in Dutch, anyway. <laughs> yeah, that's a Dutch saying or something. I don't know if they say it in English. Is it a Dutch saying? It might just be a Belgian thing as well. <laughs> I don't know. A Flemish saying. <gasps> that is a Flemish saying! <laughs> so Wraith also said, Quick! Rock, paper, scissors, best two out of three. Winner gets nothing. Ooh, I like that. Okay. I want nothing! <laughs> you really have nothing. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors! Oh! oh. You best two out of three. Oh, best two out of three. <laughs> Rock, paper, scissors! Oh. Rock, paper, scissors! Yeah, you win. Yeah! <laughs> the comeback king! Filmster asked, Why is that the criteria for a Q&A? Well, yeah. <laughs> well, because we have a show each Wednesday of the month, and it's like a show depending on which Wednesday in the month it is. And for some reason, the calendars have been anally raped by some weird logic that makes it so that there are five Wednesdays sometimes in a, well, month. And we don't know what to do then, because it's a rare occurrence. But what can also be a rare occurrence? A Q&A! <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Iron Cox. Iron Cox. Iron Cox. <laughs> he said Iron Cox. Yeah, well he said it in a video. <laughs> he doesn't even know himself. He, said, he asked us how many dogs has Trollumbo fucked. See, this is a doggy. I don't fuck doggies. I just kiss them. Ew. Oh, <laughs> so cute. Can oh, you not kiss this? He didn't ask about you, he asked about Trollopumbo. Oh yeah! Uh, Trollopumbo? <laughs> I don't know who that guy is. <laughs> that guy's. I don't know who that guy is. I don't know. I don't know who that guy is, but if he fucks dogs, he better stay away from our dog. Oh. Well, fuck him! Amy, the internet hobbit, asked Ouch. us. Would you be interested in doing music collab? Hashtag copyright is a bitch. 
Uh, wait, I don't even know what that means, but if it means like doing music for someone, then yes, because we, I kind of did that for a high voltages outro song. I think she means like doing a song together. Yeah, I would work with people to make songs. Oh, well, that's what I understand out of it. Yeah, it, it sounds... But, but the thing is, copyright is a bitch makes it sound... Weirder? <laughs> and my gamers game asked, is an elephant an alien? It might be an alien. Oh! <laughs> what is this, a grammar Nazi show? Yes. Welcome to the grammar Nazi show. Okay, wait. Let me do it again. Is an elephant a alien? Well, it probably isn't, but it might be an alien burn. Oh, in all seriousness, uh, no, elephants aren't aliens because they live on this planet. But m can, might there be aliens somewhere in the elephant? What? <laughs> Probably not, no. <laughs> like an alien anal probing an elephant with his entire body. Maybe there are some uh, elephant humanoids out in space, which might be weird and a coincidence, but hey, there might have been at one point. My gamers game also asked, is Fallen Angel Pyrex a human or Pokemon? Well, it might be human or a Pokemon. Oh, 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 oh grammar sucks again. Human? Or a Pokemon? Well, can't it be both? Because there are some uh, Pokemons that look like humans as well. And then there might be humans who mistake them for humans. And stuff happens, you know? St some of that stuff might be Fallen Angel. Who knows? Okay. Then we have Sir Race again. He asks, favorite TV slash Netflix show? Ooh. Favorite Netflix show would be, uh, well, it's not really, well, it's mid-season, Daredevil. Oh, yeah, it's mid-season. <sighs> yeah, it was Daredevil or Jessica Jones when it comes to Netflix. Yeah, those are Netflix series. I haven't watched Jessica Jones. I don't know! Valia, stop licking your balls! When it well, the only question for Netflix series would have to be, is it... Jessica Jones or uh, is it Daredevil? And I would have to go with Daredevil because with Jessica Jones you have some of the the concept might have worked, but could have been be a lot better than the, than Daredevil either. But then there's one problem. What? Some of the jokes are so hit and miss that they are cringe worthy at times. Yeah, there are some cringe worthy jokes, and that kind of breaks it and makes it not bad. It makes it re still really, it's still really good, but it's. Just not as good as Daredevil. So Daredevil as a Netflix series. I think Gotham would have to be best regular TV, non-Netflix TV series. I would also have to say Gotham. Yeah. There might be some people who say like, oh my god, when you compare that to like the other uh, series, it's less uh, comic booky and stuff. It's less like... Uh, what, what, like the Green Arrow or like Flash? Those Man. series are also... Really good, but they're somewhat more child on the childish spectrum of comics, because a lot of people are comparing like comic book series to comics, but like the I don't know the more somewhat more PG versions of comics, when there are actually like a lot of really graphic things going on in comics as well. So I don't really understand where people are coming from when they say like, oh, that's not comic book key enough. There are like. Uh, Noir comics as well, so what the fuck? And the last question for a QA again, Sir Race. You guys seem like a good group of YouTubers. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Do you have any advice for a very good YouTube channel? If you wanna be a good YouTuber, then you should at least first check out if you wanna be a good YouTuber. And if you wanna be a good YouTuber, then YouTube is your main priority. Like, also, you have to get through school or something first, so you can make money to invest in your YouTube channel. But if you really want a YouTube channel, you're gonna find time to work on it, despite every fucking thing you have to do in your life. Also, gonna say something that is the opposite of 
any YouTuber who tries to give advice to become a YouTuber? Okay, that should be interesting. I'm just gonna lay back here. You don't have to just pick one category. Just do whatever you want to do. Make a video about what you want to make a video about. Right? Like, you yeah. don't have to pick gaming and stick, stick to gaming. Just try to work out as many ideas as you really want to have, like you really want to have a video about. Yeah, I really don't get this, and I think this this is just made to uh, appeal to the most stupid of people. Like, oh, this YouTube channel does this, and it does this only, so we know what to expect from it. Yes, but that doesn't. I don't give a fuck about that. That that's. Most of the times why I stop watching certain channels, I get fucking bored with them because they're too fucking linear. They're the same thing over and over again, slightly different. Even the big channels, they have production value, some of them, but then again, they're somewhat boring since they do the same thing over and over again. Yeah. Even, well, and, and not everyone does the same thing over and over again. Even if you look at PewDiePie, he doesn't really have a, he's the biggest channel on YouTube. He doesn't really have a schedule. It just puts out two videos every day or something. Sometimes he even does a non-gaming video that just randomly is there from time to time. Who knows when it will appear. And then he also has playthroughs sometimes. And sometimes he has just regular gaming videos, like funny moments videos. So I don't really think there is a way to become a good YouTube channel. You just need to be interesting. And if you're a boring personality, you're not gonna have people watching your content. And if you are boring and you see that you are boring because you need to watch your own videos after editing them, and if you see that your video is boring, maybe not upload it and try again. And if you have a boring personality, I don't know, try finding something in your personality that is interesting. And you might say, oh, that's not me being me. But what, 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 does, that, what does an identity even mean now? Because if you're being yourself, you're not being the same person all of the time. You're, who you are kind of depends on, on the situation that you're in and who you're with because you will change slightly depending on whoever is around or wherever you are. So yeah, there will be something interesting and if you're a real fucking Debbie Downer or something, I don't know, make a complaining channel. You could work with that. You could do really downer uh, reviews of games. You could do really sad playthroughs and make that your thing. But then, try to get something funny in there at least, like some self-humor if you're sad. Like, if you are have a sad disposition, then just laugh with yourself from time to time as well. Make fun of yourself. There's a lot of stuff you can do. But just too many people think that, that, that the game is interesting, on that the game is what makes your channel. A lot of people play a game and it's like, oh, this game is popular, so I'm gonna have a popular video. That's not how it works. Because people, if they want to see a game, they will just go to, well, most of the popular YouTubers to start out with, if they can't buy it themselves. But if they can't buy it themselves, they will just play the game. What they want to see is your personality. A track, like... What, what was I gonna say? It's... What people want to see is your personality reacting to the video game. Yes, it's like the way you are. Are you somebody that scares easily and you play a horror game? That's a funny combination. If you're somebody that doesn't get scared and you play a horror game, that could also be kind of funny. Especially if you pair yourself with somebody who is really easily scared, so then you could be like, I don't get it. And then that kind of dynamic between the two people makes it a funny video. It's like, oh, look at that guy always being scared by any little sh shitty thing that happens and the other guy is just making fun of him. That's a funny video. Or if you play like a funny video game and you're like somebody who doesn't laugh a lot, you could be sitting there with a sour face and you could make it, make your editing be the thing that saves the video through uh, poking fun at yourself through things appearing on the screen. If you want to be well, featured in the next Q&A if you want your question to be featured in one. You can also just use the hashtag again. Just keep using it. Nosysaurus. Or just reply to this video. That's also a possibility. Some last thing that I'm gonna ask of you is... Do you know a name that we could call our fans? Because 
I said don't forget to subscribe and be a real Losasaurus, but a Losasaurus, Losasaurus is just kind of a really stupid name for yeah. fans. So, what should we call our fans? It's up to you, because we don't want to push anything up on you. It's a democracy up in the shit now? Yeah. Make up a name or a list of names and we'll pick some cool, some cool names out of there, like all of the names we think are cool, we'll pick them out. And then we'll make a video where people can vote, and vote on Twitter, if there's only four, because Twitter limits to four votes. Yeah. Also, the next Q&A will be at the 30th of March 2016. Another 30th, March, so that means that we have some time to go before our next Q&A is oh. here. Oh, shit. But that's great because questions are already getting repetitive from time to time. And we'll catch you in the next video. Yeah, balls. Thanks for watching our video. Did you like that video? Don't forget to like it if you like it. If you don't like it, like it as well. Leave a comment and share the video with your friends. Don't forget to subscribe and be real, little story. See you in the next video.